All right, sitting here today with my FTM 200, just having gotten it back from repair, and I'm gonna tell you about three things I learned in that process. So the volume knob stopped working correctly. You would turn the volume down, but it would just crank all the way to 100%, and there was really nothing I could do about that except pushing a little bit on it. So it seemed there was physical damage to the button somehow. Whether that was a manufacturing problem, I don't really know. Um, I chose not to go to a local repair or try to find somebody who could do that. I wanted to go directly to Asus since it was still a pretty new radio. Um, I called them and had them talk me through what I should do. And I'm going to share with you what I learned. Number one, they're all covered by a two-year warranty. Uh, they asked no questions. They just told me to send the radio in. And I did not need to wait for an RA number or anything like that. I could get the thing in the mail right away and get that process started. They, they wanted me to write a cover letter explaining exactly what was wrong with the device. And of course, you need to include your personal information, an address, a phone number, and an email, then ship it out. So I went ahead and wrote a little letter explaining that the volume knob no longer functioned correctly. It physically felt different to me. It no longer had the kind of smooth friction. I don't know if that's the perfect word for that, but it, it has a certain amount of tension to it when you turn it, and it had lost some of that, along with the, the fact that the volume went all the way up which is uncomfortably loud in a small room. Once at the radio left, I got a tracking number course. So I was able to see exactly when it got there, but then I did not hear anything. I was expecting maybe a phone call from them or an email or a text or something and wasn't seeing any information coming through. So I got concerned and I called them. Um, they were able to find me information pretty quickly and they started asking me questions like they wanted to know uh, their date of receipt of the product. Uh, they wanted to know the service order number. And I wasn't aware of any of that because I hadn't seen the email. So what ended up happening is it got caught in my spam filter. So if you use Gmail like I do, spam is not one of the default labels that's visible. So I had to start looking around when they told me that they had sent me an email um, and finally I figured out where it was and was able to work with them to get everything straightened out. Uh, really, they wanted to see the confirmation information, and that was part of their way to identify me as the actual owner, and they wanted to then confirm my address when they shipped it back. And as I thought back on that phone call and looked more carefully at the email, I realized that you can go directly to Yesu's website. You do not need to call them to follow up on your repair. There's a link at the top of the page that says repair status. And once you have your email with a service uh, authorization number, you should be able to type that in to get an update. Um, since my radio is done, I've not been able to test that, uh, but it's all there. Then I was waiting for a tracking number, which they told me to expect announcing that the radio was shipping back, um, but I never got it in that form. It came in the form of a text from FedEx, and it didn't actually say who it was. Uh, it just said that I had a package on the way, and it, which means it came from FedEx. It wasn't Yesu notifying me of that, and I was able to identify which package it was simply by noting the return address. So anyway, a little bit convoluted, but... Uh, radio is back and everything's functioning correctly and I'm super happy about that. It's hard to know exactly why. You know, I've been carrying this radio from my car to the indoor desk spot that you see it right here in, in the video. So maybe things got bumped in that moving process. I've been doing it pretty much every day and practicing, getting on the air and all that. So it's hard to know whether there was a manufacturing problem with this particular uh, volume button or if there was some damage on my part. Um, all told, I think it took me with me not realizing I had an um, email in my spam probably about a month to get everything sorted out. I did send it in right around the holidays, so I kind of expected things would be a little slow. But the folks at Yesu were very, very nice when I talked to them, so there was really no problems on my part in terms of uh, feeling confident that they were going to get me my radio back in one piece and do it as quickly as they were able. So there you go. Hopefully you all do not have to go through that, but if you do, maybe there's a few things that are of value there to know. 
And I hope you'll come back again for a future video.